Hello there, everybody. Hello, Team Flick followers. We're here to uh, with you live or recorded just the day after. <laughs> it depends on how you're uh, consuming this conversation here. But we're here to you again just to give you the market update as we do every week. And uh, here we are. Uh, just want to run through the numbers again with you. We got a little construction going on next door. So if you hear some rumbling, that's what it is. But hopefully, uh, that's not going to interrupt us too much. But um, yeah, just want to go through the numbers again and, and see if there's anything that we can draw from that. You know, uh, in the last seven days, uh, pendings are still up. You know, hot summer days? I think so. Um, what we're seeing, we've got new listings, 49 new listings in the last seven days, and 102 pendings. So almost two to one going pending in comparison to new listings, uh, which is exciting. Um, you know, it, it's just exciting numbers. It doesn't, you know, if you're a buyer or a seller, uh, it doesn't matter. It's good to see that our market up here is alive and well during the summer here. So I know we've been running around uh, probably spent every day the last six or eight weeks here um, working at some point, showing property, getting properties live, and uh and and just taking care of business there but um yeah let's look at active listings right now that's another good indicator that we've been using um so as a reminder we ended june of 2020 with 1236 active listings um july of 2019 we ended with 1265 so here we are today we're at 1299 so we're a little bit more, a little bit higher number of active listings than we were last year uh, at the end of July. So we'll see where we end up. I mean, obviously, if we keep up with 100 uh, pendings and only 50 new listings, we might be back down at that 1265 number uh, by the end of July. So uh, a couple other things we're taking a look at, um, you know, average days on market, it's really, you know, I hate to really talk about average days on market too much because it's really so property dependent, but we're seeing about 84 days on market on average, um, you know, and it depends on what property. I think last week I spoke a little bit about the different categories that we're working in and some of them are a little bit more competitive, certainly under a million dollars is quite a bit more competitive than over a million dollars. Um, you know, just the, the people who are buying those, those properties, you know, as you get lower price point, the market size gets bigger. And so those are a little bit more competitive with people looking to get into the market. So just want to take that into account where, which category you're in there, but you know, very much price dependent, property dependent, um, as to whether you're going to beat that 84 days or, or be on the market a little bit longer. So as always, you know, if you have any questions, hit us up, teamflick at summitliving.com. We're here to answer all of your local real estate questions. If you have something about a property specifically, you know, shoot us an email, drop a comment. We're here and uh, love to do a little bit of digging on your behalf. So I hope you guys are having a great day. It's been beautiful weather out here, I'm trying to get out on the bike a little bit, but we'll see. Um, as always, we'll talk to you next week for another uh, market update on what's going on, looking at the numbers and seeing what we can figure out what's going on in the marketplace. So thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.